Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am back with another week in outfits vlog. So it's officially spring, so I'm hoping that I'll be able to provide you with some spring outfit inspiration. Recently got a cold again, so if I sound a bit stuffy, you'll know why. It is Monday morning. Mondays are usually what I like to call my creative days. So that's typically where I'll work from the home office because I'll have a lot of things to film, pictures to take, reels to make, YouTube videos, blog posts. So yeah, all stuff that evolves around creation basically is what I use my Mondays for typically. Um, so what I'm wearing today is a super typical working from home outfit. This is what I probably wear most of the time when I'm working from home, also during weekends. I just find it to be such a nice base. Um, and it is, of course, a basic jumper and then my good old vintage Levi's jeans. These are the redone stovepipe jeans in the high waist. Favorite jeans and then a good old jumper. This is a actually navy blue. I'm not sure if it's coming off on camera, but it is a navy blue jumper from Organic Basics. Um, the weather has slowly started warming up, so we're having around like 14 to 15 degrees in like midday afternoon, so quite warm, but it is still a little bit chilly in the morning and in the evening, so that's why I still love wearing a jumper. I just walked um, Oscar or dog, so it's nice to have a, a warmer piece on top um, or underneath my jacket. As I just said, Mondays are like my creative days, so I usually just put on an outfit that's really like effortless, very simple, very comfy um, because there will be a lot of like outfit changes throughout the day obviously because I will again film YouTube videos, um, styling guides, reels with like styling tips, different outfits. And then just to show you what I will wear if I'm then popping out later to walk the dog or do grocery shopping if I have errands to run. Have a pair of sunglasses because it's going to be a sunny day. I think it's going to be sunshine all through the week which is nice. Um, so secondhand sunglasses from Ray-Ban, like a brown tortoise shell, so love those. Um, and then I'm wearing my good old trench coat from um, Everlane. You might have seen this coat 100 times, I love it. So yeah, if you're looking for something you can wear for many years, something in rather good quality, something that's timeless, um, then yeah, definitely worth checking out. And then I'm wearing uh, white Veya trainers. So these are the Espla, really love these. They're very like sleek and simple kind of trainer. And then this bag is my good old Marc Jacobs bag that I've had for I think at least 10 years now. Um, just a very nice effortless casual kind of bag to add to the look. And then obviously I'm wearing both sneakers, jeans and a jumper which is a very casual base. So I find that the trench coat being a classic item just makes it instantly more polished, sort of just pulls the look a bit more together. Then for jewelry, let me just zoom you in a bit there. Um, I've been wearing this combo quite a lot recently. These are all um, from my own collection with Stillnest, um, so I'll link those below, but basically just a pair of Huggies here and then these smaller hoops with like a leather pendant, simple basic hoop up there. Um, and then my necklace is the meadow pendant with uh, like um, an S engraved on there, S for Sina, my name. And then uh, this little guy here, this little pendant is actually from Stillness, so I just created a, a nice little combo there. Good morning, you guys. It's now Tuesday morning and I'm about to head out the door. Sorry about the light or if the frame here is a bit grainy. It's not as sunny yet as it was yesterday, so the lighting in here is... Not the best, but I'm hoping you'll be able to still get the gist of what I'm wearing. Um, so yeah, Tuesday morning, and as some of you might remember me talking about lately, I recently started working as a marketing consultant for a local company or a local business, um, which is super exciting. I've been working there for almost two months now, um, and I go to their office on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, so I'm gonna head down there for a couple of hours this morning and then afterwards I'm gonna go down to my own office do a bit more work before I can call it a day this afternoon um, So obviously just checking in to show you my outfit I'll just show you like all of the layers first and then I'm just gonna take off the coat so you can see what I'm actually wearing underneath 
First of all, I'm wearing a uh, lipstick today. I'm not sure if this is coming off on camera at all, but it's essentially like a brownish kind of nude. Kind of like a Your Lips But Better lipstick. It's from uh, Nils Jo, a Danish brand that you might have heard me talk about before. It's allergy certified and I love, I love their shades. Um, so wearing that. And then I'm wearing uh, the same coat as yesterday, my trench coat from Everlane. Good old fave. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna show you my shoes before showing you what I'm wearing underneath. These are from last year. These are from a Danish brand called Billy B. Um, I think they're a very nice uh, chic kind of sandal. They do have a little bit of a black heel there. Then I'm wearing my shopper bag from Adax because I have, obviously I have my laptop and all of my gear with me. So I needed something that I could just stick everything into. So just took off the coat so you can see um, what I'm wearing underneath there. So wearing this dusty olive shirt from Colorful Standard. Um, love this shirt and I think it's a really, really nice color that like complements my color type really well. Um, something else that I've enjoyed, especially since last year, is to sort of go for my basics in like a color update. Obviously not this year because I am still on a no buy. Just if you're looking to inject a bit more color into your wardrobe, I think it's a really nice and easy way to do that. Just to go for some of your favorite basics, but just in a color update, because then you know you'll get a, you're gonna get a piece that you love wearing. You know how to style it. You feel comfortable wearing it, but it's just gonna be in a slightly different color. Uh, then I'm wearing Old Belt from And Other Stories. This is like the Kruk Muck Kruk belt. And then my good old jeans from Dr. Denim. These are just a straight leg. Um, I don't even know what this fit is called actually. Um, but yeah, I've had these for years and they have that raw hem, which I think is such a nice detail, especially when you're wearing more polished and classic pieces like a shirt. So that is today's outfit. Um, very comfy, very basic, very um, smart casual for the office, I think. so. I will see you guys with another outfit tomorrow. Morning guys, so it's now Wednesday and I am yet again on my way out the door. It is eight o'clock in the morning right now. Um, Morten just took off with Emilia. Um, so I'm heading down to my office downtown today. Usually I have styling and color consultations on Wednesday. Usually I'm fully booked on Wednesdays. But today or this week, I've actually kind of cleared my schedule and cleared my calendar because I had some things I needed to sort of finish up. I've been making some improvements to my online masterclass, my style masterclass, and yeah, just had a lot of like admin stuff that I've had on my list forever that I just wanted to kind of yeah, finish up basically. So obviously checking in with the outfit for today. Um, I actually haven't done my hair this morning. Um, if you watched my recent um, how I style my hair tutorial, um, I don't think I mentioned that in the video, but I definitely, one of you asked me in the comments, so I think I definitely might have answered in the comment section. So for example, I curled my hair yesterday. And so when I woke up this morning, it actually still had quite a lot of waves left in my hair. So what I did this morning was actually just to put in just a little bit of dry shampoo to work in a bit of texture. And then I sprayed a little bit of sea salt or like salt water spray into my hair. Um, I'm using one from Maria Nila, which I really love. I think it's just called Ocean Spray and like a... Um, teal colored bottle, but yeah, I'll just spray a bit of ocean spray into my hair just to kind of Restore those waves that I made yesterday and I think that actually looks pretty good Like again, that's one of the reasons why I love this hairstyle and this way of styling my hair because sometimes it means that the curls will last for days and then I can just sort of Touch them up and it literally took me like two minutes to do my hair today. So that's always nice I'm wearing the same lip color as yesterday then for the outfit. I'm wearing a basic white shirt um, it would appear that I'm loving life in shirts at the moment. Um, I think it's just such a nice effortless and classic piece to wear for work, basically. Um, so this shirt is a hand-me-down from Morten, my husband. Um, so yeah, that's the shirt. And then I've just layered my Arquette striped uh, jersey top over my shoulders there. I wouldn't actually wear this top on top of my um, shirt here. I know that usually when you do this like blouse over 
shoulders thing it's because then you're actually able to wear the piece but for me this is purely decorative i love the stripes like the graphic element that the stripes add to the outfit might even just do a bit of a tie there so it stays in place on top of this shirt this is also from the menswear uh section at our kit by the way um no longer available but i'll see if i can find something similar I'll link it for you down below um and then i have styled that with my straight leg leather pants so these are a pair of secondhand leather pants that i found on west Ear collective love the fact that they're in this like tailored dress pants kind of design but in leather so that makes them just a tap more cool. I always love adding that one casual piece. Oh, what's happening? Hello. Did you need something? Come in, Oscar. So for outerwear, I've just gone for my beige and other stories atelier range blazer. This is a secondhand find. I found it on the Danish uh, secondhand platform trend sales a while back. And then my Balenciaga city bags. This is another secondhand find. Um, just to add a bit of color coherence there. So that is today's outfit. Morning guys, it's now Wednesday morning and I'm in a bit of a rush because we slept in this morning, which never ever happens. So it's nice to be able to sleep a bit longer, but also means that we have to get ready in kind of a rush in the morning. Um, so obviously checking in with today's outfit. I am heading to uh, my part-time job today and this is kind of like my go-to hairstyle on the days where I'm in a rush. So basically what I do um, is that I just quickly curl the front sections here of my hair and then I just put my hair back in a little bun. Literally took me like five minutes to do. So always my go-to when I look like I've actually made an effort but haven't spent too long doing my hair. Um, so yeah. That's the hair situation. I'm wearing the same jewelry as I've been wearing all week, I think, all of my own designs. Um, <clears throat> quite a bit early in the morning still. So um, I, so today's outfit is a very like spring appropriate kind of outfit. We're gonna have up to like 16 degrees today, which is gonna be amazing. So I thought I'd whip out my pale legs and wear my lovely dotted skirt. This is from Armed Angels. I bought it last year. I'm afraid that it's no longer available, but they do make similar skirts to this um, basically every spring summer, I think. It's such a nice and versatile piece for spring and summer because you can both wear it for every day, but also for evenings or special occasions. Um, so obviously today I've styled it with just a basic tee. This is one of the uh, Tencel t-shirts from Organic Basics. It's in a bit more of a slouchy and thin quality, which I think is quite nice when you're wearing a skirt like this because it means that you can like smoothen it out here, you don't have a lot of bulk. I'm wearing a pair of biker shorts underneath there as well, both to prevent thigh rubbing, because thigh rubbing is real and it's annoying, um, but also because then I'm able to like tuck the t-shirt into the biker shorts and make this area even more smooth. So just a little styling hack there for you. Uh, wearing my secondhand mosh biker jacket. I think this is such a lovely um, alternative to like the classic black biker jacket, especially during spring and summer. Going to grab my Balenciaga city bag. I have a tote bag with me as well for my laptop, which I'm obviously gonna use um, for work. So yeah, that is today's outfit. Morning guys, it's now Friday. I think I might have said yesterday that it was Wednesday, but obviously it was Thursday yesterday. Um, so yeah, Friday morning and I am slowly getting ready to head out the door. Um, sorry, I just have like a piece of loose thread there. So today I am heading to my office downtown for most of the day. And then later today I'm gonna go meet a couple of my friends for an afternoon tea. Um, just hang out and have a little bit of a catch up before then heading home to spend time with my little family. Just a really relaxed and chilled weekend ahead of us, which is gonna be nice. So what am I wearing? Well, I am wearing an all white outfit, as you can see. Um, I love this color palette, white, beige, and light blue. It is really one of my all time favorite color palettes. I think it's really like timeless, very, Minimal, very chic, and just very, very me. Um, 
probably a bit like cliche for like a capsule wardrobe these colors but I think again it's just something that a lot of us really like um, these are colors that are easy to wear easy to combine and yeah just great colors um, so the blazer is a secondhand find from Theory. I found this on West Year Collective. I always get a lot of questions about where to find good quality blazers, especially um, like sustainably made or preferably sustainably made. So my top tip is definitely to look at West Year Collective if you can find any of these like from Theory because I think this is a nice fit. It's kind of in between a straight blazer and slightly more fitted. So I think it's it's a nice crossover between like a um, like a formal piece, but still a bit casual because it is a bit longer and a bit more straight fitted. Um, I also really like the fit of and other stories blazers, and I know that they are not particularly ethically made, but they are in great quality. I have one from the Atelier range, which I then just found secondhand just to add a bit of like sustainability to it. So that would be another option. And then also I really, really love my gray Everlane blazer that I've had for, I think, four years now. I um, wear that blazer a lot and it's definitely one of my most worn pieces of all times. Um, and that's definitely something else that's important to consider. Everlane blazers, I find those to be a great, great quality and great fit as well. So just some tips on blazers for you if you're looking to add a great blazer to your wardrobe. Then underneath the blazer, I'm wearing a thin merino wool jumper. This is from an ethical, a Danish ethical brand called Le Pirol. They make um, sustainably made uh, knitwear. And then the jeans, these are the Arquette white jeans uh, with the raw hem. Don't really remember if I've already worn these once this week. I might have. <laughs> Love wearing white jeans during spring and summer. Um, and then with the outfit, I'm wearing my Isabel Maran boots. Love these boots again, lovely for spring, uh, both with jeans and pants and dresses. For the sake of color coherence and because I absolutely love this bag, I went for my Balenciaga city bag. So I think that ties in quite nicely with the whole look. Uh, wearing some layered necklaces today. This is the Heritage Pendant um, from my own collection. One of my favorite pieces, at least one of my favorite like statement bigger pendants and then the link chain on top there just to add a bit of texture my favorite nord green watch as well so i do have those little pops of interest there in this rather simple outfit hello guys it's now sunday and the time is currently around 12 30. our girl is just taking a nap we went to the local swimming pool this morning and when she wakes up from her nap i think we're gonna just have a quick bite to eat and then go downtown and then later today we're gonna go to um we just got invited to like a, a very low-key very cozy kind of barbecue um at some of our friends place where we're just gonna like Everyone's gonna bring their kids so they can play around and we can all eat together. So that's gonna be really nice. Just gonna be wearing the same thing because again, it's gonna be super low key. The weather is gonna be quite mild today. It's a bit overcast, but it's still pretty warm. Um, so that's gonna be nice. What am I wearing? <laughs> I'm wearing that same um, striped orchid menswear uh, top that I wore over my shoulders earlier this week. Wearing my beige um, biker jacket as well crossbody bag from Marc Jacobs. It's a really nice, slightly more casual and practical kind of bag for like weekends, I think, because you just carry it across your body and then you'll have your hands free, which is especially, especially comes in handy if you have smaller kits. And then the jeans are a pair of white leg crop jeans from Everlane. Um, I've had these for three years. And I tend to whip them out every spring, maybe even uh, during summertime. I just find them to be a nice addition to my like normal, regular, like skinny and straight leg -like jeans. And then wearing those with my Veja trainers, uh, both because I want to be practical and comfortable, uh, but also because I think that because they have like this sort of like sleek design, really balances out very well with the quite wide and heavy jeans. So yeah, that is today's outfit just gonna do a pan up and down here 
Um, and this is a rather typical like weekend outfit for me if we're heading out of the house. Um, if we're just staying at home, like if the weather is bad or for whatever reason it might be that we're just staying home for most of the day, I will often wear some jeans that I've downgraded, um, like older jeans that I'll just wear with a sweater. Um, because I've, I think I've mentioned this many times now, uh, when you become a parent, your jeans just get worn out so quickly. That's definitely something I've learned. Um, so I have downgraded a couple of like older jeans that I will wear strictly around the house if we're just staying in and then just with like a, like my navy blue sweatshirt, for example, something that is not that prone to stains because then if we're going out, I can just quickly pop on my trench coat a pair of sneakers or flats and then I do look somehow put together still. So yeah, this outfit is definitely like a hybrid between like something that's a bit more, I wouldn't say dressy, but a bit more um, pulled together, but still something that I can run around in, that I can still go to like the playground in, and that is still very comfortable. And um, yeah, I feel like this is one of my more like mom chic kind of outfits. Good morning guys, it's now Sunday. The final day and the final outfit of this week. I have a bare face. I just did my skincare and um, just put my hair back in a low bun and then I'm wearing workout gear because I am gonna go for a workout in a couple of hours. Um, I have two days per week where I go do a workout at the gym. Finally found a new gym with some um, different classes that I really enjoy. So every Wednesday I go to the gym and then either Saturday or Sunday I go for a, a class as well. So today's gonna be like a cross gym, cross training kind of <laughs> class. So basically when it comes to workout gear or workout wear, I have, I don't have a lot. I have a couple of different sets that I love. I have some workout leggings and a workout bra in two different colors from Girlfriend Collective that I was gifted, I think, four years ago. I still absolutely love those. And then I have um, some different leggings from and workout bras as well from Organic Basics, which I also really love. I just find it nice to have um, a few different sets in a few different colors so that you have something to mix and match and switch between. And also when one set is in the wash, you have a clean one ready for your next workout session, basically. So today I'm just wearing this old workout top from Adidas. Love this one, it's just like an animal print. And then underneath I have like a, uh, that's like a blue bra from, workout bra from um, Organic Basics. So wearing that with a pair of Organic Basics workout leggings as well. So yeah, really comfortable, very nice, um, very basic. These are just black, but I do have them in the same color as that blue bra as well. So again, it's nice to have something to just switch between, mix and match. Um, and then I'm wearing my Vea trainers. I won't be using these for the actual workout. I do have a pair of like old Nike trainers in my backpack. And then just to show you for outerwear, because you know, I generally don't really care about what I look like when I go to the gym, but just being kind of well dressed even when going to the gym is really something that can have a positive impact on your mood. And I think it can really be like a, a great motivation for also go kick some ass at the gym. Um, so I do like to, to give it just a bit of thought when I go to the gym. I also just brush a bit of eyebrow gel through my brows. If I have a giant sit, I'll just pop a bit of concealer on there. Um, I've just popped on a, this is just a basic, um, gray sweatshirt, like a zip hoodie um, for extra warmth. And then on top of that, I'm wearing like this gray overshirt. This is actually one of Modern's old from Everlane. I think it's two years old, maybe even three years old, but it shrunk in the wash, so it doesn't fit him anymore. So he handed it over to me and I'm actually using it mainly for like dog walks and for going to the gym. And I think it's a nice kind of cool look. And then the backpack is uh, the Small Wakes backpack. You guys might remember that I recently did a collaboration with them on a video. I have been enjoying their bags so much. So yeah, that is Sunday's workout outfit. I'll probably pop on a pair of sunglasses as well. And then that's it. So that is it for this video, guys. A lot of different spring outfits, realistic spring outfits as well. Everything I wore 
to work this week. Um, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, make sure you turn on notifications so you won't miss out on any of my new videos. And with that, thank you all so much for watching. It was a pleasure as always, and I will see you very soon for another video. Bye guys.